Hey everyone, I'm Reese. this is Amy. Today we're gonna to be doing a 20 minute upper body workout with dumbbells, finishing up with an AMRAP. In circuit one, you can expect a front raise to curl to overhead press, a dive bomber push up, a glute bridge and chest press, and a rotating plank. In circuit two, you can expect a chest press to skull crusher, a lateral raise to reverse fly, a halo to front press, and a crab toe touch. We're gonna get it started with a warm up. Just follow us as we go along. We're gonna start with some seal jacks. You have 30 seconds on the clock. We're gonna get it going in three, two, one. Get those arms wide, cross them over. Good. Keep that pace nice and slow. We're just getting it, getting it started, getting that heart rate up, getting a light sweat going. You have 15 seconds left on the clock, so keep it going. Breath going in through the nose, out through the mouth. Really open up that chest, get that upper body loose. You have three, two, one. We have butt kickers next, so we're gonna keep those hands back. Alternate, heels back to the glutes. Remember, this isn't a sprint, I'm just getting that heart rate going. Ten seconds left on the clock. Nice and light on the feet. Core is engaged. You have three, two, one. Hit the back of your mat. You're gonna go inchworm to a hip opener twist. Walk it out. Bring that right leg in front. Open up. Back. Other leg. Open up. Back. Walk it right back breath, walk it out one more time. Just a couple more seconds here, and you're gonna go right into your mountain climbers. In three, two, one. Feet back, mountain climbers. Keep that breath going, nice, medium pace. Then you're gonna get a 60 second rest. You have about 10 seconds left on the clock, push through. Try and push your pace a tiny bit. In three, two, and time. Stand it up, grab a quick sip of water. You have 60 seconds of a rest. Coming right back for round two of that warm up. All right guys, nice job. We're gonna get right back into it. We have a couple seconds left. We're gonna do round two of this warm up. So get ready in three, two, one. We're right back into those seal jacks, okay? Make sure you have that nice medium pace going. That breath is going, you're opening up, right? You need a nice low impact modification. Go nice and wide right here. Remember, this is an upper body workout, so I want you to focus on loosening up over here, okay? So, keep it going. Less than 10 seconds left. In three, two, one. We're going right into those butt kickers. So I'm gonna have Amy do the regular version. I'm gonna give you a modification for low impact, okay? Just give that heel right back to your hands, okay? Now, if you need even lower uh, impact, what you can do is you can just stretch it out, bring it back, stretch it out, Bring it back, okay? The point is to keep moving here, all right? You have less than five seconds left, all right? Keep it up. Three, two, and one. Nice. Now, inchworm all the way out. Lock it out. Bring that right foot on the outside. Open it up. Bring it back. Left foot. Open it 
it up. Bring it back. Walk it right back. Breath. Let's get one more in. Nice and slow. This is a nice active recovery. Open. Back. Open. Back. And mountain climbers. Let's hit it. Last 30 seconds of our warm up. Get another minute rest. We're getting into that upper body workout. Feeling good, Amy? Feeling really good. Ready to get started. Nice. 10 seconds left. Let's get it. In five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Walk it back up. Take a breath. Grab some water. You have 60 seconds. We're going to grab those dumbbells and get right into it. Great job on that warm up. Now I want you to grab those dumbbells. You require two for this workout, okay? If you need to modify, you can take one. Here's what I want you to do. Follow along as we go. You have four exercises, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. At the end of each round, you're gonna get a 60 second rest. We're gonna do this two times all the way through. So just follow along in three, two, one. We're gonna go with a front raise, followed by a curl into an overhead press. Okay, let's keep that going. Make sure that breath is going. You have a front raise working the shoulders, followed by a curl working the biceps, followed by an overhead press again with the shoulders. You have about 20 seconds left on the clock. You have two rounds through, so feel free to take this slow. Get the motions down because this is a tricky movement. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, finish that rep, and one. 15 seconds off. Just put those weights off to the side for a quick second. You're gonna go with dive bomber push-ups, okay? So, hips in the air, your feet. You're going three, two, one. Lead with the nose, come all the way up, and then bring it back. And down, bring it back. Keep that breath going. If you're looking for a challenge here, feel free to come back the way that you came. Great job, you have about 15 seconds left on the clock. Blue. About five, four, three, two, one. You have 15 seconds off. I'm gonna grab those dumbbells again. And I want you to lay on your back. You go knees bent. You're gonna go holding a glute bridge followed by a chest press. Again, follow along. Hold that bridge up. Let's go with the chest press. Nice and wide. You should keep your abs engaged here. Really flex with the chest as you press. Each time you press, I want you to exhale. Hold your hips up as high as you can, all right? Really squeeze. You have about 15 seconds left on the clock. Push through. We're gonna put those dumbbells off to the side. You have five, four, three, two, one. Good, 15 second rest. You're gonna put those weights off to the side. We're gonna go right into plank position, all right? A couple more seconds on that rest. Put these arms parallel to each other. Hold that plank. And let's get it going. We're gonna rotate out to the side, bring it down, rotate to the other, 
and down. Amy's gonna keep it going. If you need a modification, I want you to go into regular push-up position, all right? I'm gonna hold it up, rotate out to the side, rotate out to the side. Keep it going. Less than 30 seconds left, push through. Breathe here, really engage the abs, okay? I know that upper body's tired, but push through. About to come up on a one minute rest. Four, three, two, and time. Take 60 seconds, grab a sip of water, and we're gonna come back with those dumbbells. Great job on round one. We're coming back for round two. So grab those dumbbells again. A couple more seconds of rest. Remember, you have that front raise to curl to overhead press. If you're still unsure, just follow along. Three, two, and one. Front raise, curl, overhead press. Remember, let each one of these movements have its moment, okay? You have that front raise, curl, press. Keep those abs engaged so that lower back doesn't start compensating. Okay. 20 more seconds left. Upper body should be burning. How are you feeling, Amy? Pretty good. Really feeling that front raise. Nice. A couple more seconds in five, four, three, two, and one, good. Remember, put those dumbbells off to the side. You're coming up on dive bomber push-ups. 10 seconds of rest. Get ready in three, two, hips in the air, and one. Lead with the nose, come all the way up. Hips back up in the air. And take your time on these, use this as an active recovery. Really use it as a stretch as well. Nice. 10 seconds left on the clock. Finishing it up. In three, two, one, good, we're grabbing those dumbbells again. You have that glute bridge and chest press. Get into position, dumbbells by your side. Remember that chest press is gonna be wide. You're gonna hold that bridge up and let's get into it. Remember we're working those pecs, okay? So keep it nice and wide. Press up, breathe out, bring it back. breath going. Remember, it's a lot to keep track of, so really concentrate. Don't compromise on the movement. Keep that focus going. 10 seconds left, push through. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Dumbbells off to the side, 15 seconds rest. Coming up on that last exercise, which is that rotating plank. Remember, arms parallel, you're gonna be twisting. We'll start with the right side in three, two, one. Twist, those back straight and those butts down. Take your time, all right? Remember, these are complex movements. It's a lot going on. So don't speed through these. It's very easy to get hurt that way. 
20 seconds left on the clock. Really pull in on those abs. Final 10 seconds. You have four, three, two, and one. 60 seconds rest, grab a sip of water, roll out, whatever it is you need. We're gonna come back for circuit two. Great job, you completely crossed circuit one. You've got circuit two now, all right? Same exact format. We have four exercise, 15 seconds rest in between, and a 60 second rest in between the two rounds. Grab those dumbbells and get it started again. You have a chest press to skull crusher, so I want you to lay down on your mat. Put those weights together, we're gonna get it started. Remember, follow along in three, two, one. We have a close grip chest press followed by a skull crusher. Try and keep those shoulders down. You're gonna engage the chest, then the triceps. Lower backs, it's very easy to pop those up. So what I want you to do, engage those abs, keep them nice and flat on the ground. Keep that breath going, abs engaged, concentrating on those pecs and those triceps. We have about 10 seconds left on the clock, and then we have our 15 second rest. Knock out a couple more reps. Three, two, and one. Nice, 15 seconds rest. Okay, then we're gonna stand it up. We're gonna work the shoulders and the back now, all right? So, five seconds, we're gonna follow along. We have a lateral raise, lean forward, followed by a reverse fly. Lateral raise, lean forward, reverse fly. Remember, each of these movements has its own moment, all right? We have about 25 seconds left on the clock. Really focus on engaging those delts on the back. How are you feeling, Amy? Definitely. Less than 10 seconds left. In three, two, one. Nice job. Now, you're gonna drop it to the knees. We have a halo to front press, all right? So, I want you to stick those weights together. Really engage the abs, because it's very easy for the lower back to get and get to fall forward here. And we're gonna go for it. Give me a halo, bring it around the head, bring it around back, press forward. Again, halo, halo, and press. Let's keep it going. Less than 30 seconds left. Keep it up, keep it up. Breath is going. Abs are engaged, elbows are tucked. Less than 10. Three, two, one. Nice, now weights down, we have a body weight movement. 10 seconds of rest. I'm gonna hold a tabletop position. And then we're just gonna touch those toes. Well, let's get right into it. Reach across, reach across. Keep that breath going. Abs are engaged. Should really burn after all the three exercises we've done, plus all the ones we did in circuit one. Reach for that toe. Take your time, find that breath. 10 seconds left, push through. 
You have three, two, and one. Take a minute. Ooh, shake those shoulders out. How are you feeling, Amy? Ooh, it's oh. good. A little tight. Yeah, same. <laughs> you have less than 60 seconds left, so grab a sip of water. We're coming back for round two of Circuit Two. Great job on round one. We're coming up on round two of circuit two. So I want you to grab those dumbbells. We're laying back, going into that chest press, followed by a skull crusher. So lay flat, we're gonna get it going in three, two, one. Let's go, 45 seconds on the clock. Remember, keep that grip close. Skull crusher back. Shoulders stay down, okay? I don't want this to sink into your delts. I want you to really focus on working the pec working the triceps. Abs are engaged the entire time, keeping that lower back flat on the ground, not adding pressure to your lumbar spine. Keep that breath going. Feeling good, Amy? Feeling really good. Nice. I like this move. It's a good one. Got about 10 seconds left. You got five, four, three, two, one. 15 seconds of rest on the clock. We're gonna stand it up. We have that lateral raise to reverse fly. So remember, each of these movements has its own moment, all right? Just so remember, like we're taking a picture, we're gonna go on three, two, one. We have that lateral raise, followed by reverse fly. Lateral raise, followed by reverse fly. Keep it going. Engage the shoulders, lean forward, we engage the back. Keep it going, we have 15 seconds left on the clock. We have five, four, get one more up in three, two, one, nice, 15 seconds left on the clock. We're dropping to our knees for those halos to front press. A couple more seconds here, feeling good? Feeling ready. Oh yeah. man, upper body's burning. In three, two, one. Let's knock those halos out. Remember, everyone's flexibility is different. So try and get as close as you can with those elbows. You may not have that shoulder flexibility. So just try and keep it tight. Press it out. Remember, abs are engaged so the lower back isn't hurting. 20 seconds left, so push through. Those halos going, 10 seconds. We have five, one more rep, four, three, two, and one. 15 seconds rest. We have those crab toe touches, so put those weights off to the side. Now I like my hands like this. Amy likes hers the other way, so whatever works for you. Again, same with the flexibility. Keep those hips as high as you can. I'm just gonna reach to those toes. If you find you can't do this, just hold, all right? The hold itself is an exercise. For my advanced, go for those toes. Keep it up. 15 seconds left on the clock. And you're coming up on that one minute rest. Keep it up, keep it up. You have five, four, three, two, and time. Nice. One minute rest. Shake those shoulders out. We're going to come back with that AMRAP push.
Great job on those circuits. We just finished that upper body strength workout. Now we have an AMRAP finisher. AMRAP stands for as many rounds as possible. So we have three exercises, six reps each. Our exercises are up down planks, bicycle crunches, and mountain climbers. So what I want you to do is I want you to knock through these as fast as you can, get as many rounds in as you can in four minutes. Okay, so we're gonna hit the mat. We're gonna start in plank position. We have up down planks, okay? So let's get it going in three, two, one. Let's start with that right side first. Nice, now flip it over, bicycle crunches. Flip it back over, mountain climbers. Nice, now we hit the left. Hit those bicycles. Right back into those mountain climbers. Feeling good, Amy? Yeah, I'm just uh, trying to keep up with you. <laughs> <laughs> Take this at your own pace, all right? So if you need to slow down, catch that breath, just hold that plank, and then get right back into it. Especially with this move, your upper body's gonna be tired from those circuits, so just keep it moving. Take it at your own pace. Make sure you have good form here, all right? So I don't want those lower backs bending. I don't wanna see you guys compromising on form to get rounds in. Take your time, catch your breath. That breath going. Nice, we're coming up on that halfway point. Feeling good, Amy? Woo, getting out of breath. The point here is to just keep moving. If you stop, it's just harder to get back into it. Yeah. What? When I find I'm getting too tired, I just try and zone out, just focus on something else, all right? You can blast some music, whatever it is that gets your mind off the fact that you're tired. Last minute, push through, push through. Ooh. Coming up on that 30 second mark. Push through, push through. 20 seconds. Let's try and squeeze in one more. Three, two, and time. Nice, great job. Grab some water, you've earned it. I'm gonna come back with a cool down in just a little bit.
You guys crush that workout. We're just gonna cool it down now, all right? So I want you to meet at the base of the mat. Nice and simple, we're just gonna walk it out. Same, just like that inchworm from the warm up. And I want you to bring those hips to the ground. I'm just gonna stretch it out, breathe right here. From here, I want you to sit back onto your heels, go into child's pose. Nice, from there. I want you to go right into downward facing dog and just drop one heel down at a time. I'm just gonna breathe here for a couple seconds. Let's plant both those heels into the ground, feel that stretch. Relax any tension. Now walk those hands back to the feet nice and slow. Again, we're just gonna breathe here. Let the body hang, you can sway left and right. Release any tension in the neck, shake your heads yes and no. Just keep it loose. Now vertebrae by vertebrae, we're just gonna roll up, saving the neck for last. Good, now we're gonna take that right arm, okay? Bring it across the body. Just gonna pull right in. Make sure those shoulders aren't coming up, okay? You wanna keep it nice and low. Good, breathe. Shake it out, we're gonna go with the left. Again, just a couple breaths here. Shoulders are down. Good. Bring that arm behind you. Just gonna pull on that elbow. Make sure those chins aren't tucked down to the chest, okay? You're keeping that chin up. We're breathing, that chest open, okay? Well-deserved breath. And switch it up. The left, breathe it out. Good. Now bring those arms behind you. Okay, you're just gonna clasp those hands. I'll show you from the side. Take a deep breath in. We're gonna bring those arms out. Just tuck forward, keeping those back straight. Breathe right here. Again, just gonna let those arms go. One last deep breath, roll it up. Find yourself at the top, shake it out. You guys did great. That was two whole circuits and an AMRAP, and you crushed it, all right? Thanks for joining us on the mat. Again, I'm Reese. This is Amy. If you like more of these videos, feel free to subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Take care.